This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Okay, so we know about the famous episode by Yishar Ach Noyach. And only Noyach remained. The lesson of Yishar Ach is a lesson of Miot, that something was missing from Noyach. It says Rashi, Noyach delayed the food for the lion, and the lion bit Noyach, took a, a bite out of him. So the question is, why did Noyach delay feeding the lion? You know, Noach got everything else uh, on schedule. It was very timely. He had everything uh, like clockwork. So why did he delay feeding the lion? So the Chassam Sefer explains, based on the Ibn Ezra. Ibn Ezra asks that a lion and all predators are, are not her- her- herbivores. They're carnivores. They only eat meat. You'll never see a lion sitting down to eat a salad. You know, can I have a Caesar salad, please? A lion eats meat. That's it. So the problem was... Noyach had nothing to feed them on the teva, because uh, Noyach didn't have bring basar on the teva to feed the 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 uh, carnivores. So the Ibn Ezra explains that even these animals who only eat meat, if they're very very hungry when they're starving, they'll eat uh, vegetation as well. Says of some Seifer, that it would appear that at the time of the Mabel, God engendered a nature in the carnivores that. They, didn't, they don't have to be starving to eat vegetation, but they would eat so right away, because otherwise it would, it would be impossible to, to feed them. But Noach didn't know that. And so Noach figured that the lion uh, will not eat unless it's very hungry. So Noach delayed feeding it so that he could feed it what he had to feed it. But Noach didn't know that Hashem and Jane did the agenda, so he deliberately was late for the lion. And the lion said, no, no, no. Either you give me my salad right away, or I'm going to be eating, you know, part of you for breakfast. So you ha- Rashi says, Sari, you have to say, that was the first meal. And then Noyach uh, must have figured it out. Okay, Rabbi Isai, wishing everyone a wonderful day. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.